Hello, this is Asa Laveau. So glad that you have jumped on uh, Facebook Live. So if you're seeing this recorded somewhere else, it was initially recorded on Facebook Live. If you are totally unaware of who I am, uh, I personally, I train entrepreneurs and decision makers from a place of frustration to a place of clarity in their mind and in their money. And I do that as America's leading clarity coach. And today, the topic of discussion is the arrogance of fear. Why would I combine the arrogance of fear? Well, let's talk about fear for a second. When you are scared of something, let's say you're scared of something being in the closet, you're scared of being found out, you're scared of going on Facebook Live. What's happening? Well, what's happening is you are in a mode of self-preservation. We understand that our ancestors' fear came up because there might have been a very large animal coming to attack us and we needed to get the hell out the way. So fear was a way that we survived. We could definitely move when we needed to move. There are certain chemicals that were released in our bodies that helped us do things in a greater way. I get that. And so I understand that level of fear. But even within that level of fear comes this I part. Remember, I talked to you about it being self-preservation. Meaning, it's all about the I. It's all about who we are, what we have going on. So when you say that you're scared, let's go back to the Facebook Live. Let's say you're scared to go on Facebook Live. You're thinking, what are you thinking about when you say I'm scared to do that or you feel imprisoned by that fear? What's happening, it's all about you. It's all about you. And you weren't thinking about all the people that could be helped as a result of you going on. You telling the world that you are gay or bisexual or as transgendered, that could, that's all about you feeling like what could happen to me and not the result of thinking about someone else, okay? So I also, I looked up the word arrogance. So we understand fear. Let's talk about the word arrogance. Arrogance, the dictionary says, ar arrogance is offensive display of superiority. A offensive display of superiority. That's arrogance. Now, to even break down the word offensive, let's look at that word. Offensive means causing resentful displeasure. Causing resentful displeasure. So my thing is, you are fearful and that just makes you resentful. That's what I get from that. And you don't have to be. You don't have to allow that to be your normal. And one way to get out of your own way, one way to get out of fear is to actually, like actually care about somebody else more than you care about your own well self-preservation now it's important i'm not saying don't take care of yourself uh, because i do believe that we show people how to treat us and so we want to make sure that we do take care of ourselves what i'm saying though is do things for the benefit of others so that you can do them in a bigger and more expansive way. That's what I'm suggesting to you. So, that's how I believe that fear is really so much embedded with arrogance because we're thinking about ourselves rather than what someone else is going to benefit or take away from being in, in, commu in community or in creation with us. 
As always, I am Asa Laveau, dreams and blessings.